Hello and welcome to Maths Plus. Today we are covering the Leaving Cert 2021, Paper 2, Question 6. So the first one here is a triangle and we want to construct a perpendicular bisector to the side AC. So AC is down here. So let's look at this term here perpendicular bisector okay so the bisector is the key here we need to bisect that line so therefore let's follow these steps so place your compass down here at A and we're going to swing an arc from A which is going to be further than the midpoint of the line AC so swing that arc with your compass and we can call that radius 1 Go to the other side of the same line and we will keep our compass fixed. So this arc will go around here and will be symmetrical. All we need to do now is to join a line between these two points of intersections and we will get this line through the midpoint of AC and it will be perpendicular. Call that the midpoint there. Okay, so that's part A. Construct the circumcircle given the triangle ABC. Show all your construction lines arcs clearly. So we have one side done already. Okay, so this line over here is the bisector of AC. If we get the bisector of BC or AC, the two lines will intersect at the circumcenter. And this will be the center of the circle which will go around the three vertices. Okay, so let's do that. So on the other side, start the process again. So from B, swing an arc. like that, greater than the center. Keep your compass fixed, go on to C, and do the same from C. So we'll get this. Now we will join the points of intersection, and you can see we're going to get this line here. So we could call this B1, this B2. Both bisectors bisect the lines through the center point and they are at right angles. All right, so you'll see this. So from the center point here now, where we can draw a circle around. So I'll just fit one in. And we will get a circle like this. And it will be greater okay, than that and fit in around the three vertices. Okay, so the radius of that circle will look like this. And all of these radii are equidistant from the center. R1 R2 and R3 are all equal. So that's the circumcircle, which goes around the circumference. There it is. All right, on to the next part where we're working on areas. And in the Leaving Cert Audrey Neville course, we have a scale factor. The scale factor works when you have similar triangles. So in the description up here, we're, we're described, describing two triangles. But if EDF and QPR triangles are the image of each other, that means they're similar. 
so that they have the same shape okay but they have a different dimension okay so there's a consistent consistency of dimension between all sides so if the scale factor is 2.5 over here for ef we can compare that with qr now let's find qr so 3 from ef 3 is ef and we will multiply that by 2.5 to get qr so we're going to get 7.5 meter centimeters okay if if we had the dimension of ed if we had this here we could multiply it by 2.5 ED to get QP and so forth okay so let's go on to the next part because the next part covers area so as a rule the scale the, the scale factor okay so do you have you have an original area and if we multiply it by the scale factor squared okay we'll get the new area which is enlarged in this case. It could be smaller as well. So why is it the scale factor squared, which is 2.5 squared? Well, it's because it's in two dimensions. So if we have one dimension here and we have L multiplied by 2.5, and then we have, let's say W multiplied by 2.5 on the other side, then the area would be LW multiplied by the 2.5 here and the 2.5 here, which would be 2.5 squared. Because it's in two dimensions. If it's in three dimensions like volume, it would be 2.5 cubed. Okay, so the original area is 18.75. Let's multiply that by, by 2.5 squared and let's see what we get. Okay, and we get 2.5 squared is 6.25 and multiply that by 18.75 and we will get 117.187 which is rounded to 19 and we can put in our units as well centimeters squared. Thank you for joining Maths Plus.